Canines have been useful to the police on many occasions, whether it's to catch criminals. Or to find missing people. But after all, they are animals and have to be continuously trained. Otherwise, they might become a menace to society. And unfortunately, some have become. First on the list is an incident that happened in Gainesville. On the night of July 10th, 2022, a traffic stop was about to turn into a nightmare for Terrell Bradley. When you're having a bad day. Terrell had gotten himself stuck in a traffic stop over a traffic violation. However, things escalated once the officer smelled the odor of drugs coming from his vehicle. Do me a favor. Do you act nervous? Hop out for me. Will you hop out? Just face the vehicle for me, alright? I'm making nervous, bro. You can. But Terrell made the biggest blunder one can make in this situation. With no extra weight to carry, Terrell was successful in evading the cops, but soon he was about to become the victim of extreme brutality. The canine kept on sniffing along the houses for a while, but soon things were about to get messy. Hey! Show me your hands, bro! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Come out to me! Come out to me! The dog's not coming off to you! Come out to me! Come out to me! He got me, bro! I'm done! I'm done! Come out to me! You got my face! He ripped my finger off, bro. He ripped my finger. He ripped my finger. Ah, ah, he ripped my finger. Ow, bro. Get your fucking dog. Put your hand behind your back. Right. Running from the cops cost Terrell his eye. Even though he was the one to run from the cops, he posed no immediate threat. You're gonna stand up on your feet now, all right? I can't fucking see. You're gonna stand up on your feet. Your feet work. Oh my fucking god. All right. Three, two, one. Stand. Stand. Come on. We're gonna sit you down and we got an ambulance coming. Bro, your dog ripped my eye, bro. Bro, your dog ripped my fucking eye, bro. Bro, your dog ripped my fucking eye, bro. Come on. Walk I can't open my fucking eye, bro. Alright, right. pick this foot up high. Come on, buddy. Come on, you gotta walk. Bro, your dog ripped my fucking eye. Alright, well, we're gonna get you to the ambulance, so walk. Come on. Bro, your dog ripped my eye. I can't see. I can't see. So uh, sit down. Sit down. Bro, I can't see you, bro. Sit down, buddy. You know the eight parts of a fork back there? That's why I saw him. Go, Marshall. Right I'll sit him down. Yep. Come on. I can't see you, bro. Uh, Cross your legs for me, all right? I can't see you, bro. Bro, I can't see you, bro. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute. Hey, Rip, cross his legs for me. Bro, he ripped my eye, bro. Bro, the dog beat me in my Just eye. Just let him rest on your... Yeah, under his knee. Behind. Terrell was rushed to the hospital, but in hope to outrun the cops, he lost his eye. In the aftermath, the incident faced severe backlash. Terrell pleaded guilty on one charge and was sentenced to one year and seven months in prison. But this was just the start. Control your canine. On a Thursday, police officers were conducting a traffic stop when they got taunted by a man named Keevan. Unknown to Keevan, this was about to be a mistake that would cost him dearly. Hey, I'm about to put this guy in custody. Hey, hey, say, say one more thing to this dog. Tear it up. You're about to go in custody. Go inside, you're going to jail. Go inside. Hey, he's under arrest. We caught taunting the dog. Done.
It is clear that the canine is eager to be let loose on Keevan. The cop had his control over it for now, but soon things were about to get messy. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Right, hey, come on. Stop resisting! Stop him up. This arrest was about to ignite more rage and protests against the police. No matter how much security they provided, incidents like this don't go unnoticed. The canine cop was placed on paid leave, while Keevan was still charged with resisting arrest disorderly conduct, and obstructing official business. But this isn't even half of what this next guy had to face. Question us and face the canine. On the afternoon of the 17th of June 2021, a group of police officers were arresting a man when another guy named Marvin Brown observed all this happening. Well, observing isn't a bad thing, but it turns out the cops got suspicious of him and followed him to his residence. Is this your property? Go, man. Is this your property? Big fat boy. Go, man. Is this your problem? Go, man. Marvin didn't want to get into any trouble, but the cops didn't take Marvin's uncooperative behavior lightly and made the situation a hundred times worse. What are you doing, bro? A motherfucker's head or something. You must need Marvin tried his best to resist, but the cops had backup with them to ease their job. Help! Help! I got no courage. We're resisting. Get him up. We're resisting. Bro, I give up. Come on, man. I got no courage. Yes, I live here. This is my home, man. Come on, bro. Lay down. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Get the fuck Get down. I'm Take trying. Take the grass. Take the grass. Right. I'm down, bro. I'm down. I'm down. For just being at an arrest scene, Marvin was charged with resisting arrest and obstruction. Even with the obstruction charge being dropped later, Marvin still had to appear in court. However, the aftermath of this incident is in the dark. But the next case isn't quite different from Marvin's, but this one takes us back to 2017. Canine is dangerous. On September 23rd, police officers along with a canine were on the lookout for a male who was suspected of burglary. During the search, however, the canine got the wrong person. Oh, there's a, there's a lady. Oh, out, out, out. Take a seat over here, okay? Sit down. Okay, we're gonna get some medics for you, ma'am. Yep. The woman, Desiree, was shocked to the core. And who wouldn't be? Just imagine yourself in place of her. It's just a normal day, and you're taking out the trash, only to find your arm in a canine's jaws the next second. The canine still continued its search while the woman tried to get assured that she wasn't in the wrong. Okay. We will get uh, medics out here momentarily. Didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you're not just, from, just the wrong place at the wrong time. We were In the end, Desiree went to court with this incident and was paid around half a million dollars, while the canine deputy and partner went back for a month-long training program. There's been little to no progress on tackling the potential danger the canines now possess. Once great assets to the police are now becoming more of a liability to them and danger to the community. Yes, canines have saved lives and aided in apprehending criminals, but cases like this can't go unnoticed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more canine content.